some spring flowers that bloom before tulips, but tulips are oftentimes seen as a harbinger of spring. Um, they're one of the consistent blossoms that we see in people's gardens and uh, one of the first ones that we enjoy a multitude of colors from. They're usually something that a gardener thinks about in the fall because we plant the bulbs in the fall. We let them sit outside in the garden through the winter months and receive a chill so that the bulb will set its blossoms on each stalk and then all we have to do is, is really watch them bloom in the springtime. Once they have finished blooming and the flowers are beginning to show their signs of, of aging, some gardeners will take off the blossoms so that the plant doesn't put its energy into producing seed and it'll help that bulb to grow bigger for blossoms next year. It will also help the bulb um, multiply so that we end up with um, more than one plant of each variety that we've planted. So if you're interested in growing uh, tulips in your garden, you may find someone who has had multiples grow in their garden and see if they're willing to share with you or look for them in the fall and plant in preparation for next year's spring. The green tissue continues to photosynthesize and help that bulb store up energy. So you wanna leave the foliage on the plant as long as possible, but once we get some heat, the leaves will begin to shrivel up. And once they've died down or browned, then you can cut off the foliage and that plant will um, store up all of its energy in the bulb to produce large, big flowers the following year, as well as multiplying. If you're looking for a way to add a variety of interest in your garden, you can add tulips to add variety of color and heights into your garden in the spring season and bring that color back to the garden that's been so gray over the winter months. For the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Donna Hoffman from the ground up.